the Let Me Guide You series on SAP Lumira, um, helping you to create stunning dashboards. Today we are going uh, to use color coding to indicate key performance indicators uh, on our landing page, on our storyboard. And the topic is uh, about forecasting and forecast accuracy. What I have is actuals, I have a forecast metric, and I um, created a little formula, very simple, the forecast accuracy, which is um, the actuals divided by the forecast and I indicate that as a percentage. So I display um, the accuracy as a percentage mode. So a simple cross step with the forecast accuracy over here per country. And what is next is that you uh, start creating uh, exceptional highlighting rules. So I can um, create a uh, test OK, <clears throat> saying that anything that is bigger than, uh, let's say, 90%, uh, uh, could go into green. Well, you can fill that up also. Uh, you see it over here. And uh, I already arranged it a little bit for you. So let me uh, go to the manage rules and untick this ones. And the ones that I'm uh, going to use are the below ones. So I changed the color coding a little bit to softer colors, as you can see over here. And this is how it works. So what I typically uh, do next is that I, uh, per country, uh, can create either uh, a bar chart. So I change it in a simple bar chart with a filter on, uh, on, on country. This one is Switzerland, and you can copy it for the other countries. If I would untick the filter, this is basically uh, the bar chart. And the reason that it works so well is that when you change uh, your exceptional highlighting from a cross step into a bar chart, uh, Lumira keeps respecting the color coding. So that's basically the core principle that I use over here. Uh, the fact that Lumira uh, remains respecting color coding for certain types of, uh, of charts. So uh, again, if I would use Germany, um, it would be wet. And I can uh, replicate that, um, duplicate it, and do the same thing, for example, for ticking the filter. Uh, for Switzerland, yeah, which you will see is green. Well, I'm going to use these bars. What I'm also going to use is this one. Uh, it's the same one as we just had, but just uh, turned um, horizontal, which is um, the indication per country of the forecast accuracies. How it could look in the Compose button is that I uh, created a little bit a light blue background that always works very well. And uh, over here, I just dragged and dropped uh, two of my visualizations of these ones, I drop them uh, in over here on a um, on a white uh, simple square that I uh, grade with uh, light gray uh, borders. And if I just add two of the um, uh, filters, and I will show you how it works, then you can see that uh, how the color coding is automatically changing. So I have now cost locations these ones. If I uh, also select uh, the upper one you can see on my left hand side um, that the color coding changes to green because now this country is uh, within the threshold area that i've set and you can also see uh, the right hand side the color coding changing so this is a very simple uh, simple trick that i use uh, quite often to uh, to indicate um, some more things um, over here on the screen that are important you see that i uh, I, um, I use this one. Let me go back from the preview mode. Um, so I never use bold. I, uh, I always use uh, a, a, um, a, a font type like Trebuchet that looks a little bit modern, not bold. And do not uh, put the color on black, but put it, for example, on dark gray. That gives it a little bit more modern look. Um, the only other things that I did is, for example, in this chart, if I double click it, I can change um the format of the bars so you could do like this or you could for example for the wet ones give it another indication or go back to this one you can change it per country um i also added a little text uh, indicating the countries so what i did for both uh, charts is that i uh, unticked uh, any any property yeah so uh, as you can see the background the, ch the chart area color is no color um, there was no legend there's no title I untick them all just leaving the bar as it is and um, you could also uh, over here I've now put it on a simple shape but if I uh, for example would would bring in a, a quick picture one second 
over here I just uh, took from the web a, a small picture of a glass well uh, you could easily see that I, uh, I could drag and drop these visualizations into that glass and with a little bit of um, of playing around with the sizing you could uh, more or less uh, indicate that the glass is uh, loaded or not loaded um, as you wish if you um, want to indicate on your storyboard or dashboard the trends in a certain percentage over time then um, I always try to use a, a baseline um, to more express how the evolution of your metric is uh, it's also respecting the Hickard standard that uh, heavily suggests to work with baselines. So here's how it works. So my core metric is the forecast accuracy, which is um, uh, the formula actual divided by forecast. And the display mode that I use over here is uh, percentage. And what I typically tend to do is if I uh, want to create a baseline, I just go to the prepare room and I uh, create a very simple metric over here it is I uh, create a calculated measure which is defined as follows I give it a name baseline and the formula is one uh, if I change the display uh, formatting to percentage one becomes 100 percent which I've done over here you can see it yeah I displayed it as a percentage so I now have my baseline of 100 percent I have my forecast accuracy and what I also tend to use is a uh, a metric that um, uh, calculates the difference between the baseline and the accuracy even more expressing uh, the trend which is baseline minus the forecast accuracy and again the display uh, mode for this is again percentage to keep um, keep all the numbers right yes so if I uh, work with that um, and I go to my visualize tab um, I could work as follows um, so I selected this year I'm going to have a look at it per month here you can see um, this is how it works over here I've uh, made a simple line graph with the forecast accuracy and my baseline which uh, gives a way better indication on how the accuracy is doing over time I could even uh, drag and drop also the difference uh, of the baseline together and then you can see over here my baseline is now the orange area the green one is the forecast accuracy and the difference between the two of them is now clearly indicated uh, in this chart and that makes a way better impression an alternative to do so is this chart where I made a combination of a bar and a line chart uh, basically indicating the same trend so this is what you do in terms if you want to do trend analysis uh, for a percentage uh, work with a baseline the orange area clearly marking the 100% where you ever where you want um, your users to be 100% eh? forecast accuracy and the green one um, indicating the actual and um, the blue one indicating the difference um, of it many thanks for your attention the uh, last tip in this uh, let me guide you series is about um, creating uh, a landing page on your storyboard so I've changed my data set to an uh, another example it's about uh, repair costs for certain uh, spare parts of an ATM and uh, I've done my analysis I uh, have a number of analysis available which you see over here uh, with with forecasting for example and uh, to bring them all together here are all my analysis in my storyboard I uh, tend to use a landing page and the uh, landing page is typically the first page of your storyboard um, which you see over here so what you uh, decide upon is what kind of screen you want standard widescreen continuous scrolling if you new use continuous scrolling you can add as many uh, charts and graphs uh, below each other so what I uh, normally do I may I choose a nice picture um, which I've done over here and I put the uh, opacity uh, a little lower so it doesn't get too much attention I try to limit uh, my color so I used two colors over here that's it not more and um, what I uh, do is I look for these little vector diagrams or vector uh, pictures SVG files on the web you can also use a normal GP GPGs or uh, pinks and I import them via the uh, picture import function and then I drag them uh, and drop them on my landing page and what you can do if you uh, click a picture there is this uh, uh, 
uh, pictogram properties box where if you click this little staple over here you can uh, create a hyperlink so either an external hyperlink to a website or to a certain page and uh, in my storyboard i have a number of um, different pages you can uh, give a name to pages if you have more uh, that you can uh, easily see which one you need so i uh, make a hyperlink to the page i did the same for this one um, created a hyperlink over there two little graphs with an indicator and um, this is how my storyboard looks right now so if i take the pre preview button um, and i uh, now hover over the first picture i can tick it right now and it goes to the uh, to the page that i'm um, that I uh, want to show to my uh, to my users um, about this page again you see uh, I really try to limit the number of colors that I use so this one is uh, tricolor so there's a white background blue and green that go uh, quite well together um, with a, with a big map over here this one is a uh, continuous scrolling so I have uh, I have to scroll down to get to the next section over here I use conditional highlighting um, to indicate whether a quarter is doing well, bad, or um, uh, less good, and over here um, a selection box and um, some uh, some things. Um, I also over here have a little picture. Again, you can see I created an icon for a detailed report. The report is not prepared yet, but you can easily uh, put it below there. Um, and I uh, normally also use a uh, one of the logos. This one on top hand that goes back to the landing page. So if I take this, it goes back to the to the home page. And um, so especially if you have um, a lot of pages, this landing page is very interesting for you to set up uh, some kind of navigation uh, to your end users. Again, over here, the color coding with two um, custom visualizations that I use, um, mini bar charts and mini donuts. Um, and again, over here, some examples of my uh, analysis. So um, success with your uh, creating your landing pages, they are very useful and uh, make your dashboard look very professional. Thanks for your attention.